Now, the expectation for any product company as a fresher, I'm again repeating as a fresher, okay, as an SDE one, as a software development engineer one, that is at the most entry level that you want to get into any product company. Okay, cool. So we are going to begin now. Um, I'll tell you the agenda of today and we'll also introduce you to us. So it's going to be a fun filled session. My promise to you all in this session is to keep it interactive and to not make it boring. It's a Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. There could be 10 things that you are doing today. You are here to join us. That means you are interested in your career and you're interested in learning more about um, the placement aspect, especially about Amazon. So you are all interested in doing that. So we're, we're going to uh, make sure that we keep it as interactive as possible all right so who am i by the way um that i'm going to share all of this stuff with you so who am i i am uh, my name is anik co-founder of uh, edist um, i'm an ex triple it h triple it hyderabad graduate one of the finest institutes for computer science in this uh, country um we have guided about via edist we've guided more than thousand students into packages from 10 lakhs per annum to 45 lakhs per annum. That's who we are at Edist. Uh, some of the companies in which our students have interviewed and got jobs in are Amazon, JP Morgan, Twilio, Adobe, ServiceNow, Salesforce. I'm just mentioning some of them. There are more than 100 such product companies. And students have, you know, for the last three years, they've gone through the Edist training program and they've been able to successfully grab a job at each of these companies. So that's who we are. And so when I speak to you today, I'm speaking to you from a point of having seen this and having experienced this, I'm not giving you some academic knowledge that if you want to apply, then do this. No, no. This is how people have applied and this is how they've got a job. Okay. So that's what I will be talking to you uh, about mostly today. Overall, the agenda is as follows. So you guys can keep a note of this and I want to finish this off in within one hour so that you all have a very productive one hour and then you can go back to watching whatever you're watching, probably watching the latest movie release, probably watching Moon Knight, um, from Marvel or probably just chilling at home, whatever you're doing. Uh, so I want to know a little bit about you and I'm going to share that with you about how I can come to know about you. So I'm going to know, uh, ask a little bit about you, your expectations from the session. So we'll do about 10 minutes on this where I'll just understand things from you. Then I'll share with you the general approach for any product company. And we did a detailed version of this last week, the recording of which you can see on edis.com. We did a detailed version of this last week. I'll, I'll share that recording with you also. How to apply to Amazon specifically, that again we'll share. We'll look at some previously asked coding questions of Amazon and I'll show you how the best students, the best candidates are able to crack these coding questions of Amazon. And as usual, if you are attending an edit session, there is a special announcement at the end. So do wait till the end. There's a very special announcement for all of you all benefiting all of you all. So please make sure you stay till the end for this particular announcement. Okay. So how many of you are ready to start? How many of you are ready to start? Please, please give me a yes. Please say ready. Please say something so that I know that you're all ready to start. If you're ready to start, please say ready, ready. So very quickly, let me just first of all, share with you. What's the general approach for any product company, not just for Amazon, but for any product company, what is the general expectation? Okay. For any product company, what's the general expectation? Now the expectation for any product company as a fresher, I'm again repeating as a fresher, okay. As an SDE one, as a software development engineer one, that is at the most entry level that you want to get into any product company there, they will expect these four things. Okay. What are these four things? Number one, they will expect one programming language, right? One basic programming language is they, they are going to expect of you. Which programming language, be it C++, be it Java, be it Python, it can be JavaScript or any one of them. I generally guide students on these three languages, one of these three, not all these three, one of these three, because if you do any one of these three, you get maximum coverage. 99% of the companies will accept any of these three programming languages. So what they expect is one of these three programming language, you should have very good knowledge of, meaning that you don't need to look at syntax when you are making uh, when you are doing these uh, questions, when you are uh, talking about these programming languages, you don't need to, uh, you know, look at any reference material. You know it very well, such that if I tell you any logic, you can automatically transfer that logic into code. If I tell you run two loops, one loop within each other and print these 10 numbers, 
you should be able to very quickly translate that logic into code, right? Um, somebody's asking for one year experience people, just follow along with this one. I'll tell you at the end what the one year experience people, where it differs from them. So just follow along here and then I'll tell you about the one year experience people as well. So they expect one programming language for sure. They expect mastery in algorithms and data structures. They expect at least one or two good projects and they expect a very good resume. So these are the four things that they expect. Now, each of these things and a detailed presentation on what product companies expect, I have covered exactly this time last week. That is 5 p.m. last week on 23rd April. We have covered that. We will share that link with you also. You can go and watch the recording of that session where we've covered in depth of this. But I'll do a quick recap for all of you over here. Okay. What is meant by each one of these things? When I say C++, Java, or Python, as I mentioned, you should be able to write any particular logic in that particular language. So if I give you a, a, a logic, you should be able to transfer it into code. When I say algorithms and data structures here, I'm talking about all of the different concepts in algorithms and data structures that are there. Now, different companies will put emphasis on different concepts, but overall, if you want like a full on um, uh, list of topics, this is something we have on edis.com. I will just um, explain that also to all of you over here. What are the, the different topics? So the different topics that you can kind of expect in any product companies is arrays. Then there is uh, within arrays, there is like binary search, uh, two pointers, um, prefix sums and so on. Right. Again, the whole syllabus detailed syllabus I covered last week, but I'm just going to do a quick recap for all of you. So that's what's there in arrays. Then you have math questions. Then you have bit manipulation questions. These are all topics. And again, these topics, if you have never heard of these topics, do not worry. I will show you how you can learn all of these topics. So don't worry if you've never heard any of these topics before. Okay. So then there's maths, there's bit, bit manipulation. There is strings concepts. Then there is data structures, data structures such as stacks, queues, linked lists, trees. Then you have heaps. These are the major ones. Then some of them might even ask, ask things like tries, uh, segment trees, and graphs, right? The tries and segment trees is not so much asked, but still I put that there just for the sake of completion. And then you have dynamic programming, backtracking, and greedy algorithms, right? So this is the other thing. These are the major things that any product company, this is the, I would say 99% of the syllabus is just covered here. Now it's easy for me to write it here. It's more difficult to master it. Okay. But I'm just giving you the entire syllabus of what you can expect in any product company. They will ask you questions from this. Then they will ask you projects and then they will ask you resumes. What do we mean by project and uh, the resume? Well, in a project, you need to know one skill that could be web development. It could be uh, data science. It could be mobile app development. It could be backend web development. It could be any one of these things. You need to have a good project and you should be able to explain it to the interviewer. In the interview, the project, the, the interview, the actual interviewer is going to open up your project. They will ask, actually ask you, can you open up the, your GitHub link? Can you open up your code? And they'll ask you and you have to actually explain what your project is about. So I know uh, all of you have a BTEC project, a mini project and so on. And I know how you all do those projects. If you do it at, in that way, not sincerely, but if you do it just like that without understanding it, you'll have a very big problem in the interview. And finally, you should be able to make, you should have, have a very presentable or marketable resume. If you have a resume, which is not up to standard, you will not even be shortlisted for the round. And I'll explain what those rounds and so on are there. Now, when we talk about these specific things, algorithms and data structures, these all have to be, um, these all have to be practical. You can't say, yeah, I know the concept of binary search. Even I know the concept. Everybody knows the concept of binary search. You have to go left or right, left or right. But can you look at a problem and identify that it's binary search? Okay. So again, all of these things we've covered in the last week's session. So please go ahead and check that out. But the one major question that I get asked a lot from everybody, one big major question I get asked is how much time does it take to actually master all of these things? How much time should I spend on each thing? Now, this is the estimation for all of that. If you have never done any programming. That means you've never even written a hello world program, a simple print statement. It will take you roughly two to three months to actually be, to get to a level of programming language where you are able to transfer the logic into code. So it just that programming language will be about two to three months worth of effort is there. 
Now, I am assuming that many of you over here already know one programming language. In fact, please let me know in the chat which programming language you all are at least comfortable with. Can you guys let me know in the chat which programming language you are generally comfortable? Someone says Python, someone says Java. Now, when I say comfortable, it's not just about saying hello world, I can do hello world, I can write if statement, I can write else statement. No, no. When I say that, I'm talking about all of the things. That means you can implement a data structure in it. You can write array algorithms and so on. So we have a very diverse crowd here. Somebody saying Python, somebody saying Java, somebody saying C++. No issues. All of the languages are good. Only one language which is slightly skeptical, slightly not advisable is C. The reason is C is not object oriented. So if you know C, try to upgrade yourself to either C++ or Java because syntax is similar. But based on C, you are not going to get into any product company. Now, algorithms and data structures itself will take you roughly from four to six months to master. And towards the end of the session, I will show you how you can actually master data structures and algorithms because we have shown students like you, thousand and more students like you, how to crack it and how to actually master data structures and algorithms. 